Okay, so I actually posted the photo yesterday, and um, normally I post about pop all the time. <laughs> like two people like it. <laughs> so I thought nothing of it. I posted on Twitter like I always do. And a couple people commented, and I was like, oh, you know, everyone's home is quarantined. They're on their phones. Didn't think nothing of it. Then it was like 30, and I went to bed thinking like, oh, this is cool. People like pop. <laughs> then I woke up, <laughs> and it was like 5,000. And I was like, this is crazy. Then it was like 30,000. And the next thing I know, it's like so hard for me to even check my notifications. Like even now, as soon as I click on it, it'll be like 30 more. And I'm like, okay, wait. And then it's like 100, and I'm like, I don't even <laughs> know where to start, finish. I don't know. Yeah. So I've just been trying to go through today and comment as best as I can. Um, yeah. <laughs> just doing the best that I can until, you know, we get a little break. <laughs> you have the most famous dog in America. He's, he's really become the face of the quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have never guessed. <laughs> I would have never guessed that my dog would be the face of quarantine. <laughs> but I, I get why people are relating to it. Um, we're all going through this right now. He's cute, but he's also sad. He misses his friends. And I'm like, I'm the same way. <laughs> yeah. I miss my friends. <laughs> and then his little roles, I think, just sent people into emotional overload. <laughs> There's the, the the picture itself is very great. I mean, I don't know how you got it exactly, but just the way he slumped over, the how you know that feeling of defeat many of us have. Yeah, it was like defeat. But what it really was is I was working from my um, living room table, and he 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 stays on a patio now because he's a very social dog, and now it's just me and him. <laughs> so it's like, oh god! So he can see everyone. He can see his friends. If they come outside, you know, sometimes a kid or so will be in a courtyard or another dog. So he watches like literally almost all day long. <laughs> and he he was trying to get their attention. And so he was making noises. It was a kid down there. So he's like, ah, ah, and the kid, of course, can't hear him or see him. And I'm at the table and I just felt so bad for him. I'm like, oh, Pops. And then literally he just slumped over and I picked up my phone. And I was like, oh, my dog is sad and didn't think anything of it. Took the picture and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, have you had a chance? I, I know you said you were going through it at some point, but I, I was just even trying to, I mean, just searching his name, searching Big Papa brings up just thousands of them. I saw Ellen. I saw... Um, Maisie Williams from Game of Thrones, and like, <laughs> I don't know who else you've noticed, but that has to be pretty crazy. Yeah, I didn't even. The crazy thing is, I didn't even notice Ellen <laughs> because it's <laughs> out of everyone, I missed Ellen. <laughs> um, I didn't even see Ellen until someone else commented under her polls, and they kept like tagging me, and I was like, "Okay, guys, like I'm gonna respond to all of Pop's thing," and I was like, "Oh, it's Ellen." <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> So, yeah, that's how crazy it's been. <laughs> um, uh, just, I guess, to, if we could, if you don't mind, ask a little bit about you and your situation. You know, what do you do? How have you been getting through the quarantine? How have you and Big Papa been managing? Um, I am a costume designer, so I work in television and film here in Atlanta. Um, but I also, of course, we're on quarantine, so we're not filming anything. <laughs> but um, me and one of my best friends, we also have a online boutique. So um, we've been actually pretty busy and swamped with getting orders out. <laughs> People are shopping online, and even though the page is Shop VK Ray, my nickname is Ray, um, and it's about fashion and travel stuff, and no one's traveling, but everyone is still <laughs> shopping. So it's been, for me, I've been working sometimes like eight-hour days, and I'm stopping, taking pop out for his little walks and everything. We'll come back in and play a little bit. And then I've just been noticing, like, my – I was sad last week. My friend passed away. Now, he didn't, he didn't pass away from COVID, but um, it was about with cancer. And so I was sad. And then it's like, oh, man, I got to do this. I've never did a funeral online. Like, you got to attend a funeral online. I'm like, that is yeah. so 
Yeah. And, you know, not being able to hug his family. And the crazy thing is, me and Papa just laid around for the whole week. And then I was like, you know what? We're going to get back out. But then I was like, he's still, Big Papa's still, like, laying around and sad. So I'm like, I've been trying to cheer him up. And so, yeah, that's been our past quarantine two weeks. So we've been quarantined now for about a month and a half. So. Right. We started a little bit early, <laughs> and we're probably going to continue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's I guess one thing to ask you: how how do you and Big Pop feel about uh, about things possibly opening back up on Friday and next week? So we're going to just continue to do what we've been doing. <laughs> um, <laughs> we do get out. Like yesterday, I walked to Arden's Garden. Um, so we do get out for even a lot. Well, he doesn't go on the long walks. I'll just take them myself. Um, so we have been getting out. Um, <laughs> I will actually will say our favorite restaurant is Poppy's off of Ponce. <laughs> and so <laughs> my friend was picking up food from there yesterday. So me and Papa walked over and her and her son. So we're standing across the street waving and her son is like, hi, mom. And it, it was fun at least to be able to see their face not just on the phone or the computer but then it also sucked because pop is like like he he stays the night they babysit him so he's like trying to get to them and i'm like no <laughs> so <laughs> that part sucks a little bit but yeah we're gonna just continue to do what we've been doing um staying at home but in the curve unfortunately i'm originally from the not unfortunately that I'm from Detroit, Michigan, but Detroit right now is a big hot spot. Like even my friend, his mother passed away from COVID-19. So I've seen it actually happen where it's ripping through these cities. So I'm just staying. <laughs> Fortunately, not too bad here yet, but yeah, obviously yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll see how things but go. I, you know, for us, Atlanta, I think we've done at least a good job of staying in. So hopefully a lot of us can continue to do that. But I also understand people who do have to go out and actually do it. And for you, um, I guess being there kind of in Midtown, I guess I would ask, um, do you kind of get that sense of community? I know they've been doing the, the pots and pans and everybody cheers at 8 o'clock or, or whatever time it is in the evening. You know, Has that felt good that, that even though everybody's kind of stuck in this situation that you all still have that going on? Yeah, that actually, I can, because um, I can hear it, like, if I just leave my balcony uh, door open, I can hear it without even actually having to step out, so that's pretty cool. I do love that part. Um, I have a friend who lives in one of those buildings down there near 10th Street, and he does it every night <laughs> at 8 o'clock, and he's like, I'm going out to hit my pots and pans, and it's just, it's a good feeling. So even though we are separate you know that people are still there. <laughs> and so that makes it a little bit better. Uh, and then I guess I just get to lastly for you, um, with all this attention on, on pop there. And I mean, do you, what do you think you'll try and do with it? You know, what's, what's the next step after, after your dog goes famous? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Cause it's like, of course I haven't even thought about it. <laughs> But everyone, um, like, everyone's loving him. Um, as of right now, it's still early. So the only thing is, I was saying, since we're all still quarantining at home, I had some requests of people ask for their birthday, if I could write a sign and put it in front of Pop. <laughs> so he can do birthday shout-outs. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. So I was like, we're going to start with Pop just giving out his free birthday shout outs to whoever needs them. And then we'll see from there. 